Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Black Book. So in the last episode, we went to the church, we battled the cat demon, who has now come to now live in our basement with us. we have a cross. As old Ego was explaining, we got a cross, which we're going to use to free the girl in the banya. Need two more items as well. We need, um, I think it's a belt, and also to get bring her a name that she can use. So we're going to do some of that as well. Not sure which one we're going to tackle first, but hopefully old Ego will tell us. So let's uh, let's dive straight back in, shall we? You see, Vaisha, ask and ye shall receive. Big deal. A demon's cross. Ah, yeah, that's the cat demon that I mentioned, Proshka. He's come to live in our basement now. A uh, bit of a fun, fun character, actually. He uh, reminds me a little bit of... Um, oh, what was that show? Was it Sabrina the Teenage Witch? Had a, a black cat that made lots of sarky comments all the time. Um, so Proshka's got that similar kind of energy going on there. So, uh, yeah, we'll enjoy interacting with him, I'm so sure. So don't shine crosses either, I presume. But on the other hand, we could do without this rattle box, Chort. Why are you calling a rattle box? Hush, Proshka. Don't be angry, Grandpa. He may be of use to us yet. All right. We'll see if it works out. All that's left for you is to get a name and a belt. Which will you start with? I mean, I think we'll pick whichever one's first, so let's start with the name there. First, I would like to get a name for the girl. Yeah, I think so. Um... Well, uh, go to Vilgert. You'll find the priest there. Kolya, you should go too. It's decided then. Okay, so Proshka's appeared there on our UI. He's up sitting up there in the rafters, not in the basement for some reason. Being very cat-like, I think. Let's go and well, talk to him. what do you want? Can't you see? I'm all cozy here on the sleeping bench. I'm sleepy. Ask what you wanted. I need to sleep. Got tired. Wanted to learn more about you. What were you doing before Akulina? All right, I'll tell you. It's a long story, mind you. I've told you before. I used to be a Susetko. For quite some time, I've lived there. The Transfiguration Church was built how long ago? Must be over 200 years. I am wise and old, you see. So you'd better heed my advices if you know what's good for you. Never seen cats any wiser, that's true. Good then. Maybe you'll stop swooping your fur all over the Isba in the 200 years, eh? What? What about it? None of my concern. I have to look after the household anyway. You could have fixed the bench yourself, by the way. It creaks as hell. Oh, I'll show you, you damn short. Wait, wait, Grandpa. He will do a better job, won't you, Proshka? Sure, sure, a better one, all right. What with the church, then? So about it. I've stayed at Susietko there from the time it was built. You were Susietko over there in church? Or were you from some other place? In the church. I remember that well. But what was there before that building? Damn it. Can't quite remember. Let's talk a bit later. Maybe my memory will return. Okay, well, we'll talk to him later, Let's I guess. Go. We'll talk. Uh, what should we do? We've got our little pester full of chorts. Uh, looks like two of them have come back from their jobs, so we'll check in with them. Let's see. We have him, Vilgort. Uh, suspecting his father and sleeping with his wife, the peasant casts him out, forcing him to live in poverty. Okay, we've got seven rubles and five sins. I'm still not entirely sure what the sins do. Perhaps that's something that will become more evident later in the game. But for now, we'll carry on. Um, so... Uh, how does this work? Here we go. So, your chort cursed a merchant's horse and his master couldn't ride him to an important meeting. The merchant lost money and reputation. We got seven rubles and four sins. So, let's uh, let's send them out for another job. Uh, five rubles and a sin there. Get rid of the Susedko spirits. It's probably worth looking at what um, the other one can do. It's actually six rubles and four sins. So, this one is better all round, so I think we'll send old Fired or One Eye here off to do that, get rid of the spirits. And then we've got one worth six rubles, two sins, uh, six and one, six and one, six and one. So let's do this first one again. Uh, Matt V is going to go and send thieves apparently, so let's let's send him off to do that one. And uh, yeah, let's see what else. 
Well, we're not going to talk to the two old guys just yet, but we do have a visitor, so let's see them. Greetings to you, mistress of the house. I was flying back from Igor's job when I noticed something. Some bandits jumped the Kaldun near the crossroads. He drove a cart. Perhaps there is something useful for you there. Maybe. Okay, well, that's a little side mission there, but I think we're gonna we're gonna shoot off now. Uh, we've got old Igor's Izba down here. Um, we, we're here. I'm not quite sure why we're not there, but um, whatever. There's a peddler there, which is probably more like a shop. Um, what else do we have? We've got the broken cart over there. That's up. There's the church. That's the main mission. Don't think we need the shop right now, so perhaps we'll head down to old Igor's Izba down there. Let's go. Okay, so we've got a bit of a fight on our hands. We've got um, two demons, bigger health and lesser health, and one's also doing more damage than the other. Uh, we've got five block at the moment, they're doing seven damage, so ideally we want to add at least a couple to that, probably with this key here. Let's do that. And we can afford to do damage with the rest, so we'll just do this one. Or maybe we'll do this one first. We'll do both. And let's get rid of the bigger health one first. I'll focus him down a bit. We'll send Nikolai in to do his damage. And uh, yeah, that's our turn. Okay, it's our turn again. They're coming in with seven damage once more. We don't have any block this time, so we want to make sure we can get they set up. We'll put in that end damage to all enemies first. I think that makes sense. Try and get this guy down dead if we can. We need, But we need that seven block, so uh, let's put this well-versed one on. I think that might uh, might improve the effect. Not that we need the effect improved, but there he goes. Right, it's just this one, so we've definitely got enough block to cope with his damage. Back to us. So, eight health. I think we can do four here. Uh, might as well put that one on, so that's five. Uh, we just need to stick two block on, don't we? So we'll just do one blessed. <coughs> that's fine, we block that easily, and then he just needs to take one damage. Like so. That's the fight over. So what have we got? That's called George the Father. I haven't seen that before. So it's a well-versed with Bless 3. I think we'll take it. There we go. So now I think we're going to head over here to the Rizalka backwaters. See what we can find there. You stumble upon a strange clearing. The trees are fallen as if hit by a hurricane. Or perhaps the master of the forest walked this path. What's strange is that in the middle of the clearing, a single tree stands undamaged. You come closer and realize that the tree was saved by the Prikrish herb that grows among its roots. You bow to the plant and cut it down. You take the herb and get ready to go on okay, your so way. Okay, so this new herb. That's pretty cool. I think we'll leave. But I might just... Um uh, pop into the inventory. I, I didn't quite notice what that new herb does. It's probably worth checking out. Let's have a look. Where, no, where is that? Oh no, wait, there's a herbs tab here, isn't there? Yeah, that's right. Prickyesh herb. That was it. So it gives us five, five more block. Well, that's not too bad. Don't have any new myths or anything at the moment. That's okay. I've got, that's our chores. We've got our knowledge coming along nicely. Yeah, so that's all good stuff. So now we're going to let's head up to Mikhail's Crossroads. Near the covered crosses, you notice a jug of milk and a loaf of bread. It would Take offerings, make an offering. Um, old graves with sadness, I think we'll probably uh, make an offering, actually. That probably seems treats. like the uh, nicer thing to do. Leave some coins there we go, we've got some healing. Before which is nice. I mean, we didn't need journey. it, I don't think, but it's, you know, it's obviously the, the good option. But let's head off to this uh, broken cart, shall we? A cart has gone off the road, 
but no one seems to be around. Neither its owner, nor the horses. The cart itself is empty, okay. except for um, one jewelry well, we've got a new box. Myth. Obviously left so before we take the jewelry box, it might just be worth checking that out. And just um, yeah, seeing what the possible implications of that might be. Inside, reflecting uh, so let's go and have a look. This is it. Um, each Coldon has his chorts. For a long time we suspected our Uncle Kolyan to be a Noah, but we hadn't seen his chorts. One time I climbed up into the attic, searched everywhere and found a jewellery box. It had lots of glass shards that looked just like candies. Green ones, yellow ones, blue ones, red ones. I started to look them over, seeing how they sparkled. Suddenly there was the sound of someone on the stairs. Uncle Kolyan had returned from mowing. What have you done, you rascal? He screamed. The chorts won't let me rest now. They'll torture me to death. And that's precisely what happened. Our uncle fell ill and died a year later. One shouldn't disturb chorts. Well, there you go. Um, I don't think there's anything really that pertains to this jewelry box. So we're just going to take you that. Pick the your first Zagavar always has glass demons page. Okay, uh, can't see the, what that means right now, so let's just leave. And then if we pop up into items, we'll have a look. Uh, so that's a card that's three damage to all enemies. That sounds pretty good. So I think we'll try and get into our inventory. Maybe in place of this uh, antique mortar. I think so. So we'll just drag that over instead and put that in place. Um, hopefully we can create more inventory slots quite soon. Because um, we've got some good stuff there. So I think we'll just um, move on. Right, so we're going to go to this bank of the Culver next and see what's, see what's going on there. From afar, you hear two demons arguing furiously. Their shouts make the treetops sway. It seems that they are arguing over a fish they caught in some peasant's fish trap. When you take a good look, you realize that a human soul is in the trap, shrunken in horror. Um. Let's talk to them. Yuck! A live one! Get lost, why don't you, while you're still breathing? The devil himself can order us around. I'll see you in hell first! We've got no time for you. Can't you see we're busy dividing up the city? Let's try out some other. I'm really going to avoid playing cards. I didn't really it's enjoy that card game. It's likely to take you until the end of days, arguing like that. You're lucky I'm a witch. I can help you. You can? I know how to settle devilish arguments. You bet. Those who solve my task first will get the sinner. What sort of a task? All shorts like tasks. There are no exceptions, it seems. How about race to Vilgor? First one to fly oh. to Vilgor and back gets the soul. Ha! Ah, I'm the fastest demon in Charden, oh yes. You? Is it I, huh? Hey, wait! No fair! Demons turn into fiery whirlwinds and disappear over the horizon. You start to open the trap. Such an easy task. Had no doubt that. Wait a minute. She meant to trick us. <laughs> well, witch. Now we'll have to kill you too. Okay, fair enough. I thought getting rid of them would uh, would be the better one, but they were obviously very quick. And what's this? He's doing... I don't know what that means. Does that mean to all... everyone? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, we got... Mm. Let me try and take him down. I'm not quite sure what his game is. That should be okay. Well, that went quite well. Right, well, let's make short work of him. Let's get uh, the backhand on. Let's Six. I would quite like to block that. I'll have to put those on. And then we put the we put the poison on as well. Yeah, he's got what six health. We should probably be able to do that. 
Okay, we'll do the gesture. Do that. Do that. And we'll do that. And that should be it. And the poison tick. There we go. I just don't know about those those two. We keep getting off of them, and I'm just not convinced by them. Uh, let's go to the bridge, the Culver Bridge. <clears throat> On a bridge over a small river near Vilgert, two cart drivers argue over who should have way first. They are arguing fiercely, not realizing that each has a demon over the left shoulder. It's the demon's job to bring discord and serve as a prompter of sorts. Whispering lines into their ears. I don't think Nikolai can help. You Let's interfere, interfere in the fight and try to tell the peasants about the demons manipulating them. Unfortunately, they no longer listen to reason. When they find out that you need to get to the other bank. Alright. Not much happening there. What have we got here? We've got a lake and a wood we could go to. There's also old barns over there. Let's go to the lake. By the icy smooth surface of the lake, you notice a horse anxiously shaking its mane. A couple of demons are tugging on its bridle, trying to steal it from its master, who is asleep beneath a slope nearby. Okay, well, let's ask Nikolai, Nikolai this time. Nikolai deftly hits the chort closest to him. Okay, well, maybe they start with some damage. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. So we need some. We need a bit more. Bit more block on, so I guess I'll have to do this. Um, I guess we'll put some poison on one of them. Get Nikolai to hit one. We've got enough blocks, so I guess we'll do that. We'll just, let's try. And, we'll focus them down one at a time. Let's get that one first. So we'll need six block. I guess we'll do those. Not quite enough. Seventeen. He's doing well. He's doing four damage, isn't he? So let's put one of those on. I guess we'll do the gesture. I guess we'll do that. And one of those. That's taking six, isn't it? So let's do that one. Actually, that one first, that one. And do a bit of block. Might be enough to kill him. I'm not quite sure about the modifiers are doing. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, it definitely wants us to do one of these, doesn't it? Um, yeah, all keys is good, I suppose. The peasant wakes up from the sounds of fighting. With a sinking heart, he watches as the demon's strikes send whirlwinds around you. Although the man cannot see the demons themselves, he seems to have guessed at what is happening. After a horrific realization, he hops onto his horse and flees, without waiting for the fight's outcome. Well, you're welcome. Let's go to the wood. You walk along an old path through the eastern woods. At this hour, the moon shines especially bright. Everything around you glows with a mysterious light. All of a sudden, you hear loud voices and metallic ringing coming from the woods. You can only guess what this late-night commotion is all about. 
Trying not to make a sound, you go deep into the woods. Finally, the branches part, and you see a curious sight. Some Khaldun's, unknown to you, are trying to agree on the price of a pile of copper samovars. One of them looks deeply upset and constantly knocks on one of the items. <sighs> it seems he wants to demonstrate its quality. You notice a pair of red eyes peeking out from the samovar. Oh, well, you buy, buy one of the samovars from the bewildered Khaldun's. They hurriedly gather the rest of the wares and disappear into the forest. As soon as they are gone, your samovar turns into a demon. <laughs> right. Oh, he's a big boy. 20 health. Now I'll put some waste on. How's he doing? 4 damage? Well, we can cover that already. Um, I guess we'll do that. Don't really need the extra block. I guess we'll heal. Five damage this time, so I guess we'll stick on one of those. Do one of those. I guess I'll do that. Let's get a uh, let's get Nikolai involved as well. There we go. Killed by poison. Uh, I guess we'll take that. New experience level, that's good. Let's pop into our knowledge. We've got uh, two skill points, in fact. Hmm, those are okay. I did say I wanted a new source, uh, slot there, didn't I? Let's do that. And let's also increase the damage of spells uh, pages by one. There we go. So now we're going to head to... Should we... Mm, let's go to the old barns first. Then we'll come back to the church. It's probably... It's, oh, we can go. Okay. Black silhouettes of the old Avins look like lurking demons. You search one barn after another, but there's nothing of value inside. You sigh, and get ready to leave when a chill runs through you. You notice dark, demonic figures in one of the old barns. Let's greet them. Greetings, Master of the Avin. Let me pass into your <laughs> Look at him. Ah, a live one. The peasants left me here. I'm to live here for another 40 years. You can hear me, I gather. That means you're a witch. Come into my barn then and listen to my story. I have centuries of wisdom to share. Might be of use to demon knowers like you. Okay. Thank you, kind host. I'm always looking to learn. Well, listen. It seems as if many hours have passed, but the Ooh, stars have 200 XP, moved very nice. Each. You leave the barn having learned quite a lot. That was good. There's another thing up here, cemetery. Okay, well, we'll go do that. I just I want to do the the main uh, mission last. You see a flickering light among the graves. You come closer, trying not to make a single sound. Soon, you see that one of the fresh graves is being dug up by an acquaintance of yours. Why, you startled me, Vasilisa. I thought that the devil had come for me. I thought you were nothing short of the walking dead. What are you doing at such a late hour? In a cemetery of all places. This is none of your business, Vasilisa. And look who's talking. Good girls stay home during the late hours. I can already tell that you're digging up a grave. What a sin. Don't talk to me about sins. People say that you're a witch now. Fuh. My grief makes me dig. What was that in the background? I need to take one less look at him. 
one last time. All right, we'll help All him. All right, I'll help you. I too know the pain of the loss. Together, you dig fast, and soon you open the coffin. A white bird suddenly flies out from the grave and passes right through the peasant. The grave digger bursts into tears and seems paralyzed in anguish. You've no choice but to close the coffin and cover up the grave. You help the peasant find the road home. It seems he's learned his lesson. Meanwhile, you notice some Adam's head growing by the grave and pick it up. All right, time to go to the church. The church stands atop the northern slope, the most scenic spot in Vilgord. It was built with white stone, and at night it looks like it glows. In the sun it shines even brighter. You arrive during the long, pre-dawn twilight. Sharp points of age-old fir trees from a jagged wall far behind the church of Vilgort. The priest has already begun preparations for the morning rituals. He notices you, puts aside his chores, and greets you. Who goes there at the crack of dawn? Is it you, Silisa? Cover your head, girl. Tour. Morning, Holy Father. Goya? Is that you? <gasps> and don't tell me you want me to marry you. To. <laughs> well, it's too early for me. Kole, on the other hand. Hey, Vasa. Don't go deciding these things for me. We came for another reason, actually. We need a name, an orthodox one, from the list of the holy names, from the Sviatse. <laughs> it can't be. Are you expecting? No, we want to give a name to a demon. You want to what? Father Yefrem sways, walks back to the nearest wall, and sits heavily on a bench. Are you sure you don't want to marry? It's all for good. We want to free this girl. You explain your encounter with the Banya Bride, and what she needs for her freedom. I've heard about the changelings. Not sure how it works, though. Uh, I can't give you a name. The church tricked you both. Nothing good can come of it. Choosing a name from Sviatsi turns out to be not such an easy task. How can I make him reconsider? Let's go. Well, he's a priest, isn't he? Let's go with Christian what soul, shall we? Demon, there we go. But a Christian soul doomed to suffer. That would be a sin for sure. Truly. Hmm. They say you are a witch now, Vasya. It will soon be the harvest day of Ivan the Long. We need to disperse the dry winds, help our village, and I, in turn, will help you with the name. It's a deal. I know a ritual to thwart dry winds. <laughs> we'll go visit the field. Hmm. All right. You'll have your name. Father Yefrem opens a heavy book with a silver cover. Choose. These days we honor the Holy Claudia, Matriona, and Alexandra. Uh, Nikolai Kola, can choose. She's your bride. You choose. Let's call her Matriona. It's a good name. You would name her after a respectable woman? Watch out. She might become a knower. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Got the name. Well, the field is about a mile to the west. I'll yeah, we'll try do that. to thwart the winds. You soon arrive at your destination. The field looks empty in the twilight of the dawn. Cold wind seems to penetrate you to the bone. When you step onto the plowed field, you sense a familiar shiver. This field harbors evil spirits. You find a poorly hidden bundle of old wheat ears. It's a Kaldun's Zalom. The stems are tied in a knot and dusted with ashes and salt. Fresh grave soil, eggshells, and steamed grains are laid around it. You draw a circle. You feel that demons are not far off. Wind, oh wind of the Seven Brothers, the oldest one. Do not blow from the rotten corner. Do not bring rain from the west, but blow us warmth. Render good service to our people. Bring forth pleasant rain. Joy to plowmen. Glory to you, fierce one. You finish reciting the Zagavr, and for a moment, silence falls. Suddenly, 
A creaky voice from behind startles you. You sure are a strange creatures. First you curse it, then you bless it right after. By you? Do you mean us, Kaldoons? Ha! Humans. Always on the border between worlds. And that is why you always lose. But who am I to complain? My name is Andrico. And you? I've heard about you. You're the new witch, Vasilisa. So is it you who spoils the field, sending dry winds? Spoil? You use the wrong word. I am helping the peasants, and I am a master at this. I mean, surely you understand that this is for their own good, don't you? Don't get it. What possible good can Broken Rye do? Oh, you disappoint me. All right. Here's the thing. The peasants will have a bad harvest this year. That is so. But it will make them search for new, better ways to grow wheat. So when the real famine comes, people will be ready. Their newly gained skills will help them overcome the true hardships. As you can see, I am a visionary. Well, now, shall we go our separate ways? Let's People fight it. Die. You call that progress? I've had enough of your lies. You're going back to hell. Oh, he's another strong one. Now, what's he got? Master, all minions disappear when he dies. Okay. So he's going to be summoning. So we need to focus on him, I would think. Don't need to block anything. I don't need to heal, really. Um, well, we could put a bless on, I suppose. And a firm. Let's get Nikolai involved. Samovar minion. What's he got? Can't exist without its master. Okay, well he's going to put block on him, I expect, isn't he? So let's uh, put one of those on. Don't need to heal. I guess we'll put that on. And then we'll go Eurazi, Eurazi, I think. Deal with it. I think he did that damage times three, didn't he? Attacks demon seals. Attacks seal the random page. Okay. Um, make some healing would be good. Get that going. We'll take uh, Adam's head as well. We're running out of those. Yeah, so I missed that times three, so he's going to hit for 18. That's pretty hard. Do what we can. We've got five more block as well. Take five health damage. I 
Right, okay, well that's what it means by locking pages. So pretty much all we can do is block. <laughs> I guess it's not a bad thing, because he's coming in with another big hit. Let's get Nikolai involved again. Oops. Nikolai involved again. Eighteen block. Okay, well we're going to focus on that little guy then. Here he goes coming in with an. Oh god, have we got any block? <laughs> god damn it! Let's get rid of that little shit bag. But um, we're going to be taking a lot of damage. No, I bothered putting it on, to be honest. Your health is becoming a problem. I oh, still it's doing these big attacks. All I can do is use all my blocks. Take another heal. Oh, 11 damage. We're getting... He battered here. I hope he's going to take a break from doing it. He's doing it again. Shit, that's going to kill us. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. At least we get slightly more block than I'm expecting to for some reason. Seven. Okay. Well, well we did. I can't keep holding off these 18 damage attacks. He's got to do something different, surely. We're on two health now. If he does another one of those, we're dead. Okay, he's putting 13 block on. So first of all, let's heal. Nikolai going. Don't need the block, don't need the block this time. So we'll just put those on. And we'll put the bless on, I guess. Haven't got any keys. Attack again. I've got ten. He's going to kill us. I don't have any more. Okay, we're going to have to take that. Let's get rid of those then. First on one up. Is 
It's actually putting 15 on. That might be enough. We're putting 19 block on. Okay, he's doing the block this turn, so we've got to give him everything we've got. I hope that's enough. There we go. Wow. That's good, that's Zalom, strengthening the waste. We like that. Okay. So it looks like we're back at home. With old Ego. So the name of the girl will be Matriona. Okay, so we're going to leave it there. Uh, we'll go and get the belt, which I think is the last item we need to save the girl in the banya in the next episode. But thanks very much for watching. I hope you liked this. If you did, then please do hit the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel as well, which would be amazing. And I will hope to see you back here next time for more Black Book. Bye for now.